the water, Barakata, Kahalayumla, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakhakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith, in truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly. Shalom to the Akwab, which is the women believers. Shalom to you. Um, I just want to, you know, hopefully um, try to paint a picture basically of revelation 12 and 12 a scripture that we always quote the devil coming down with great rag because you know we had but a short time so you know um so basically gonna try to paint a picture give a couple of examples of what's ahead of us so second Ezra 16 and 18 said at the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come now, this was Ezra's getting a vision in the future, which is this is the time. And now Ezra's why he said, what shall I do when these evil shall come? He knows uh, if he ain't in the spirit world, he's down here prophesying right now. And he have the faith of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. So when the prophets was getting visions of old time and they was looking into the future, you know, they couldn't explain it. They explained it to the best of their abilities. You know, but um, but now we in this time, this is basically like painting a picture of Revelation 12 and 12, you know, and also when you get. Matter of fact, let me get let me get this. So. It says, behold, Yahweh make of the earth empty and make of it waste, turn of it upside down, scatter their broad, their inhabitants thereof. So when you get this word empty, it's bakwak. And you see this word right here. It say to depopulate. All right. To depopulate. So that's what it means when the Lord said he going to make it empty because he's going to allow this devil to have his way with the inhabitants of the earth. And particularly his own people, two thirds to be exact. And this is the devil's wrath from the Lord because the Lord's putting a spirit on him to do it. And this like this is actually Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai's sea hip because that's the test that's going to come upon the whole world. But before the sea hip come, devastation going to come because he's the sea hip. It's going to be a form of salvation, a form of relief. All right. That's the way they're going to present it. So. And it said to empty, empty, lay waste, make void to be empty, to empty out, to devastate. And, and it's going to be a devastation. It's going to be very, a lot of people are going to be devastated, man. See, like we read these scriptures, we read it. Hoping that the Lord have mercy upon us. We ain't saved yet. We still here. We got to go through the process too. But the Lord gave us provisions. He said that my servant shall eat and drink. All right. And he also said that we should be delivered. So that's what we look forward to. Also, so that's the word empty. But quack. And what's the other one? Waste. So, and this is balak. In the Hebrew. And it said to annihilate, because that's what Esau Edom is going to do in the times to come, you know. So this is the devil coming down with great wrath. So I'm trying to paint a picture, you know, for the people who scoff in unbelievers, you know, um, this is a this is a world coming to you and it's coming real soon. So. It said to lay waste, lay waste, devastate, to make waste, devastate. So. This is what's coming, but he's coming to annihilate and he's coming to depopulate. All right. So this is how he's going to do. Behold, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh make of the earth empty and make of it waste and turn of it upside down and scatter the abroad the inhabitants thereof. So when he do come down with that great wrath, it's going to be a lot of people, you know, moving, moving to and fro, trying to find safety. You know, running for cover. Scripture says it's going to be 10 in the city left. Matter of fact, let's go back to second address. Trying to paint a picture for y'all. Let's see. Um, 
So second Ezra sixteen twenty two. So it said, For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish with famine, and all these things is caused by the powers that be. It's not that it's actual no food left. He's causing it that way because it's all about bringing the people down to their knees and actually, uh, well, I already said the word depopulate. So hopefully this video will stay up. You know, we at the end. Esau, you shouldn't care. You're going to do what you're going to do anyway. So anyways, um, so when he do eliminate people hmm, to a certain number that he want, remember the Georgia Guidestones, 500 million, 7.5. 8 billion people on the earth. So that's a lot of killing. But the Lord, hey, he said he's going to be able to do a little something, something. So it said many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall be no man to comfort them, which means to bury them. For the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. So going back, this is what it's talking about. So when this man's about to turn the world upside down, which means everything that you knew is going to be destroyed. All right. A lot of people is about to be like, what the hell is going on? You thought the prophets was funny. All right. You think, you know, when we wear the garments, which the garments represent mourning, because that's what we're supposed to be doing, sighing and crying. That's how you get the mark of exemption, the the wall in Ezekiel 94. But you want to call it dresses. You want to say, oh, I'll get a job. You want to say all oh, these, you know, you know, you, you want to talk that shit. So guess what? When the shit hit the fan, then it ain't going to be no more talking. The big I told you so coming. All right. So while right now they're trying to crash the dollar system and bring in a new form of currency. So uh, uh, li listen, the dominoes is in play. All right. So what are you going to do when you go to your bank? And your money is toilet paper now. Then what? Then you can't buy food. All right. So, but I'm going to stick to the sword part. But all of this coincide. The famine coincide. The sword coming five, uh, uh, coincide. And also, people ain't going to have no hope in the day to come. Only ones who going to have hope is the ones who believe in you. How will Bosh me? I was shy. So going back. It said 24, there should be no man left to till the earth to sow it. The tree shall give fruit and who shall gather them. So the Lord is painting a picture for you. You know, he's telling you that it's about to get so bad out here that you're going to have tall grass. Because guess what? Ain't nobody going to be cutting it. Trees still going to be growing. Fruit still going to be growing. But who's going to reap it? All right. And it's saying that grapes shall ripen and who shall tread them for all places shall be desolate of men. That's scattering the inhabitants thereof. All right. Behold, Yahweh will make of the earth empty and make of it waste, turn it upside down, scatter the abroad the inhabitants thereof. So it says the grapes shall be ripened, who shall trade them for all places shall be desolate of men so that a man should desire to see another and to hear his voice. Now, when you go up to the 23rd verse, it said that, you know, it's going to be dead bodies on the ground like dung. Like a piece of shit. All right. So guess what? On top of a lot of death, people are going to be scattered and you're going to desire to hear a man's voice. I always say this in big cities. You have millions of people to hundreds of thousands of people. And the Lord talking about is only going to be 10 left in a city. Let's continue for of a city. There should be 10 left and two in the field which should hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks. And that is trying to hide away from the Lord. All right. And also hide away from the troops. All right. Because guess what? All of this that I'm reading is, is symbolized the end. The Lord talks about, you know, um, the leaders going to be trying to hide themselves in the rocks and in the mountains and things like that to hide away from Yahweh Shai. Because guess what? He's going to come as a thief in the night. And but in but this scripture per se is really talking about people hiding from the people who got the sword, which is going to be these foreign nations. Remember, three weeks ago, uh, by the boatloads of Chinese men is on America's soil, uh, military age. What is they doing over here? All right. The U.N. troops is going to get busy. These people got no ties to people in America. And that means that when they when they get the call to kill people, guess what? 
it, it ain't going to be nothing to them. They don't know you. They don't care about you. They got a job to do. Because remember, the government is going to put everybody in the stream. And, and, they, and if they tell them this is the way that you're going to feed your family, then people are going to do it. Because you always got to ask yourself, well, number one, the reason that this is going to happen because it's prophecy. The Lord creates spirits and spirits are controlled. But if you just talk to a person who don't have that type of deep understanding, then you have to ask yourself, when you read this stuff, what will make a person want to do this? When you have no choice, that's what make people as the saying goes. When you have, when people don't have nothing to lose, they lose it. All right. I think that's how it go. All right. But, um, the point is, is that, so if it's going to be less food and basically the government telling you what well, the powers that be, put it that way, telling you that you're going to have to get over here and do what you got to do. This is how you're going to feed your family. And if you don't do it, then you're going to be just like everybody else. Uh, yeah, then I'm going to do it. That's, that's why people are going to do this. So you got a lot of people out here who really still believe that the government has some type of morals, that they have your best interests at heart. You dealing with the damn devil here. All right. So he going to do whatever it takes. To bring dread upon you, to bring fear upon you for he can get you talk about the ones that he want alive for he can get you to succumb to whatever he put forth without a fight. That's what it's all about. If he had it his way. He would just slide into the new world order without any pushback. So he's going to cause a lot of chaos and then people are going to be begging for a solution. But a lot of death is going to happen. Famine going to happen. A lot of confusion going to happen. Uh, friends going to be fighting each other as enemies because of lack of bread and great tribulation. This is what's coming to the world. Let's go back. So now. Now. Um. So it says, verse two, and it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her, with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. This is talking about all the people, the the girlfriend, the side chick, the the boss, the 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 employee. All right, the man, the woman. All right, the Lord is saying it's gonna be with everybody. So the scripture said that the temptation should come upon all the world, but he's going to deliver those who kept the words of his patience. That's the servants, the prophets. All right. Also the believers, if you stand strong. So, and it said the land shall be utterly empty, which is the same word for bequak, as I read earlier. All right. Which means to depopulate. And it says and utterly spoiled. For Yahweh Bashmah has spoken his word. And Isaiah 55 and 11 said his word should not go out void. All right. His word is going to accomplish everything that he pleads that um that he pleases. And one thing that he pleases is judgment. The Lord is known by his judgment. That's why people still talk about Sodom and Gomorrah to this day. All right. And he always uh said that Babylon the Great is going to be at Sodom and Gomorrah. But that's the icing on the cake. But before that. All hell gonna break loose. So painting a picture for you for Revelation 12 and 12. Also, let me get this before I get the last scripture. So all of this symbolized Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it as a so it says, Alas, for that day is great. So that is none like it. What we about to enter into is not no game. All right. And it said, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he should be saved out of it. Who is the he, the elect, the servants? So all you women out there, you know, who got a man of the Lord, but you really can't stand him because you a demon. Guess what? He is your salvation. And we don't got to tell you, you better uh, get your ass in shape. The Lord going to do it. All right. Because it's going to be so bad out here that you ain't going to have no damn choice. So women about to get humbled. Uh, these metro sexuals, uh, metro sexual men out here is about to get humbled. All right. And all the men that women look up to in this world, you about to see them look like a P U S S Y. The men of the Lord is going to be the one standing strong in the day to come. So, um, now revelation 12 and 12. 
And there's way more scriptures in this, but what's the point of making a video long? So it says, therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. See, the Lord is telling you, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know he had but a short time. So let's get us a couple words. Great in wrath. So it's uh, migas, and when it's a lot of definitions, but the one that I want is B. So letter B at the bottom of things which overstep the province of a created being. All right, because Esau's acting like he the creator. He acting like he the one that created these people. The way that he's about to be taking out people, it's like he gave these people's life. That's the way that he's about to be acting on the earth. He already act like that he already act like he the lord so even him making his own 10 um 10 commandments the georgia godstones in the in the first commandment was you know maintain the population under uh 500 million that's a lot of people gotta go and then remember it's a lot of people walking on the earth with the serpent juice inside them they ticking time bomb so it's about to get real out here uh you see they talking about bird flu and all that shit again so hey it's, it's about to get wild, man. <laughs> it's about to get wild. Prepare yourself. And the way that you do that is by cleaving on to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And trusting that he will save you. And you can't save yourself. So say, of things which overstep the province of created beings, proud, pres presumptuous, things full of arrogance, derogatory to the uh, majesty of the Most High. Because what this man is about to do, even though the Lord is allowing him to do it. Cause that's him. That's the Lord hardening his heart. He actually think by what he's doing. He's doing it with, with God mentality. He's basically saying, I'm God for him to call this call. I'm talking about like just taking people out. Like, like they just, uh, you know, a piece of shit on the street. You know, that's how the Lord is about to allow this man to do it. But as the scripture said, well, King David, as the scripture says in Psalm 17 and 13, deliver me from the wicked, which is our sword. Also, Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28, there be spirits created for visions and in their fury lay on sore strokes and appease the wrath of the Lord who made them. So they, so when the Lord allowed this devil to come down with great wrath, it's pleasing the Lord. All right. So now, so that was for great. In the word wrath, and it's thumos, and it says passion, angry, heat, anger. See, he coming back to that ancient hatred. All right. This started back in the garden with the serpent and the woman. Uh, Genesis 3 and 15, read it yourself. All right. But then it goes back to Jacob and Esau fighting in the womb. When you ever heard about twins, you know, <laughs> doing fisticuffs in the womb. So this is ancient hatred. And Esau is about to really show you how much he hate Jacob. So all you uh, coons out there, as the scripture said in Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10, never trust thy enemy. He's about to show you why he's the devil. He's about to show you the real hatred. All right. So it said, boiling up, soon subsiding again, glow, mm, adore the wine of passion, inflaming. So basically when he do this, he's going to be doing this with all his might. He's going to be doing it with all the hate in his heart. The scripture said that he, let's read it again and end it. Therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he know he had but a short time. So like I always said, if I was an Edomite <laughs> and I knew my fate, I'm going to try to take out as many people as I can because of misery love company. He understand that since he know he had but a short time, he know that he's about to go into captivity. We ain't talking about the regular Edomite that you work with, that you see walking down the street. We talking about the elite. The one that control the money system, the one that control everything. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Those people, they know that they have a short time. And guess what? They're going to take as many people out as they can because the curse is about to come on them and the curse is about to come off of us. And they, and they think in their mind, if they could take out all of Jacob, then they could get rid of the blessing. 
but they don't understand that the Lord is in control and that's not written. The elect is already foretold to win. So all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hopefully I painted a picture that you could see. Lord willing, it was edifying. Shalom.